For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. This is a message I posted to uh, the forum at freestateproject.org. I posted it as a Ridley report. You may want to do something similar. Quote, After what happened to Russ Ulbricht and Jillian Batty, the government more or less using them as hostages to pressure freedom activists into ceasing protest, I wanted to make clear my wishes in the event I'm incarcerated or treated as a hostage by any entity. You know these wishes in advance. Uh, you should know these wishes in advance, and maybe you too should post your wishes in advance. I like the idea of people taking pretty much any peaceable action they wish against any incarceration I might suffer. If their action results in retaliation against me, they should ramp up their activity, not reduce it. Reducing it would reward the retaliation and encourage it to spread. But it's the protest and negative reaction that should spread. You should ignore any stand-down request I might issue against peaceful activity while in custody. Assume that I am not free to speak my actual wishes on the matter, or that I am being pressured in some way. Ignore likewise any such demands or requests from my friends, family, or attorneys. The authorities were arguably able to use Ulbricht's family and lawyer against him, or against freedom at least, by manipulating one or more of them into requesting a cessation of protests. The protests were successfully quelled with no real mitigation of Ulbricht's treatment. As the Swiss general Henri Guisson put it during the crisis with Hitler, any official order to surrender or cease fighting should be treated as enemy propaganda and met with continued resistance. In our case, the fight is peaceable instead, but the same principle applies. If I issue a condemnation against violent activity, of course, you can take that seriously. I've never requested bail be paid before, but I wouldn't rule it out. You can take any future requests of mine at face value there. I like what Mel Gibson did in the movie Ransom, refusing to pay the ransom and instead putting a price on the heads of the pirate hostage takers. In the much less likely event I were held hostage by non-government pirate types, that's what I would want done, and I would not want any ransom paid. But that approach isn't appropriate against government in the current context, only against pirate types. Please keep this post in mind, refer back to it, and publicize it in the event I eventually get squeezed. It may tend to update over the years. For your part, continue making a post, uh, consider making a post of your own similar to this one, explaining in advance what you want done if you're detained. Don't wait until you are under the government's thumb in a cell. The link below has many ideas and resources for peaceable free stater resistance, even if you're outside in H. If you did one of the things listed there uh, while I was in jail, that would make much happy. If you want to help me directly, if and when I'm locked up, one additional option is to send me any uh, book by the side by author Dan Simmons. Usually books have to be sent from a big company like Amazon or the publisher. Check with the Gulag Outpost in question. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite too at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. <laughs> 